Justin Rains and his fiancée Eve live here in the northeast of Thailand. Together, the Australian Thai couple run a small clothing business and are expecting their first child together. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're fat, you're ugly, you've got spew hanging out of your mouth or whatever else, there's some lady here who will want to take care of you. There are an estimated 60 to 70,000 cross-cultural couples living in this region. Few tourists pass through the rural area, which is the poorest part of Thailand. Justin's fiance, at 21, half his age, says it's not always smooth going with her husband and his mates. He's not single anymore, and when they go out at night, they stay out until the morning. It's not acceptable, so we fight regularly. Researchers say both partners may pay a price in marriages that often stem more from convenience than love. If the girl is 30 years younger than you, and maybe you buy her a house for not very much money, but it's all going to be in her name, in a village where she knows everybody, where there are plenty of attractive young men her own age. I mean, how smart do you have to be to, to realize that this could be um, a bit of a trap? Ronnie from Brisbane in Australia met his wife Loggy on holiday to Thailand. He says he thought carefully before moving to her northeast hometown. The husband and wife team have set up a fish farm in their quest for a simple country life. Yeah, I think I've been pretty lucky to, to meet Loggy and, and to um, have the trust and the, and the way things have worked. Ronnie volunteers with the tourist police, offering guidance to visitors on Thai culture. He also hopes the farm will generate wealth for the very poor local community. I know, I think I found a good man, you know, and he take care of me. The couple hope they've created a rural haven in this lesser-known corner of Thailand.